Hello, grade 11, and welcome to this video lecture, which will include the following. First, revision of how a case study essay is written. Two, discussion of a case study writing sample related to the theme of human rights. Three, discussion of an expository writing sample related to the theme of human rights. Now, let us start by revising the parts of a case study essay. Okay, first of all, to uh, you know ref refresh our memory on what a case study is. A case study is an expository essay that includes the background information on a relevant topic and analysis of a specific case under the study process. It is an essay that analyzes the case study to identify the major problem or problems that exist or exist and su to suggest solution. So a case study could be a person, a river, a city, a town, a haunted house on a hill. Okay, you're studying one case. It doesn't have to be a human. Okay, could be a thing. And the fields that a case study can be co conducted is can be psychology, medicine, environment, sociology, business, technology, any field. Okay, you're just taking a look at a specific case and analyzing it uh, in detail. How is it organized? First of all, you know that a case study in grades 10, 11, and 12 needs to be made of five paragraphs. Paragraph number one is the introduction. Like any other introduction, it needs a hook, which is a catchy statement, a lead or background information, which could be between one to three sentences, and finally, your thesis. Now, an important point is that in the thesis of a case study, we do not talk about the case itself. We talk about the topic itself. If we're talking about a uh, teenager who is addicted to online video games, we don't talk about uh, the teenager himself. In that case, we talked about Karim, remember, in the worksheet. We don't uh, mention Karim at all. We just talk about the issue of online addiction in general. Okay. And then we start with the body paragraphs. In body paragraph number one, you write the case's profile, who he or she is, how old they are, and present the problem. Think of it as a cause, effect, and solution uh, essay, okay? In the body paragraph one, you present your case, who he, she is, their, uh, their background, etc., and the cause of their problem. In body paragraph two, you present what the effects of this issue are. Um, Karim spent hours and hours and hours on uh, online games and the effects were he lost out on his studies, he started failing after being a high achiever, etc. He started losing weight, so on and so forth. And paragraph three in the body, you talk about the issue. Was it solved? What happened? What did the, the subject do? What did the case do? What did his parents do? Okay, what? how was it resolved if it was resolved? Maybe in some cases it wasn't resolved at all. The person uh, committed suicide or was put in a rehabilitation, rehabilitation center and he or she is not out yet, etc. And maybe it was solved. They were put in the center for uh, seven to eight weeks and they came out of it and now they're uh, they're being advocates as in Karim's case at being advocates for uh, being careful and being aware raising awareness about the issue of online addiction okay so think about a case study as a cause effect solutions essay and it will make your job so much easier in the conclusion as in the introduction do not mention the case please okay just restate your thesis uh, write some final thoughts advice recommendations etc as in any other conclusion and as i advise you every time please end on a powerful note in order to earn some good grades Okay, let's look our, at our case study sample. Uh, now here in our case, we're talking about human rights. I chose to talk about a child laborer story. Okay, uh, he, his name was Samer. Let's take a look first here. As agreed, the hook. 
as agreed by all the nations who are members of the un children are entitled meaning they have the right to basic rights such as security shelter and education yet across many countries around the world those rights are robbed and the children are subjected to several types of abuse here's my background now the thesis i did not mention samir one phase of child right abuse is forced child labor so my okay so my uh, thesis if you want is the issue of child labor it is a tragic phenomena in uh, many developing countries here so that it is a thesis statement i will uh, it's better to write the semicolon here to make it one full sentence okay if it's uh, divided by a full stop it's no longer one statement okay so make sure you put a semicolon here something between a full stop and a comma so i presented samir a nine-year-old boy whose father died when he was uh, very young and uh, he was taken out of school by his uncle and uh, then he had to take to the streets in order to sell gum and tissues etc and so he became streetwise he was approached by gangs he became a gangster and finally he was caught while trying to steal and he was put in a rehabilitation center remember the term here take a look at this paragraph later on he was put in a juvenile correctional center the word juvenile from our vocab sheets juvenile means young correctional center is like a rehabilitation center where they put young people it's not like a prison but they have to be there okay they're not they don't have their freedom he gets visited by his mother once a week and then uh, when he was asked probably by a journalist samir so what are you going to do after you get out of this correctional center samir knew that his options were very limited in hopefully the center will keep him under supervision once he is released and oblige or force his mom to enroll him in a public school finally the conclusion samir is one of thousands of ch children with no real prospects in this country okay if you roam the streets of lebanon on a school day on any given school day you will see tens of children roaming the streets working at, at a mechanics office uh, at a mechanics shop at uh, at a delivery uh, as delivery boys at a grocery store etc okay so this is a violation of one basic human right one child right which is uh, having the right to education and another, another violation also forced labor those child those children are being enslaved because they are working of course against their own will they are just children and this is uh, a very a very uh, uh, clear case of human rights um, violation so this is it for the case study now moving on to an expository writing sample related to the same theme where i talked about i asked you um to discuss two areas in which human rights are not upheld or if you want are being violated in some countries and talk about whose role it is to ensure that those rights are granted fairly or are fulfilled so i want you to talk about two human rights that are being violated in your area of the world i called the essay i entitled it our basic rights as humans I started with a very interesting hook by the French philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau. It's a very well-known quote. You should know it. It's good to write it on a, an essay related to human rights. Man is born free, but for everywhere he is in chains. Okay. And then I move on to some background information where th these basic rights were all agreed upon by, the, by nations in the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. My thesis, yet the question remains whether or not those basic human rights, such as education and freedom of speech are, and thought, are upheld and offered to humans around the world by their respective authorities. So I chose the two basic rights that are being violated, education and freedom of speech and thought. Okay. In the first body paragraph, I talked about the violation of right to education and this is my topic sentence let us start with the right to education 
ideally it should be obligatory obligatory means it it needs to be uh, it's a law you have to go to school at a certain age and free free and obligatory across the globe yet once we we take a look at developing countries we see a different picture we see children roaming the streets begging sent by adults to collect easy money selling working as delivery boys working as hands for car mechanics working as electricians in some jobs that could be potentially fatal to those children yet who is doing anything about it maybe maybe they're doing something but is it much no it's not much we still see children working forced to work at a very young age okay whose responsibility is it it is the responsibility of the government who can help out in this of course if the government itself is not doing enough work we always have the the <clears throat> important eye of uh, civil rights organizations and uh, non-governmental organizations to maybe nudge the government you know you should be doing something about it this is the importance of civil rights organizations and non-governmental organizations they keep a, a watchful eye on what the government is doing and the human rights violations that are taking place in every nation so another human issue, another human rights issue faced by people in developing countries is freedom of speech and thought. Saying what you think and expressing your own opinion remains a huge challenge in many parts of the world. Journalists are persecuted and sometimes killed for saying what they believe. Sometimes just tweeting an opinion or putting it on social media can cause you great harm. So it is never safe to express one's opinion freely in some developing countries in the world. <clears throat> so that was my second idea, which I elaborated on. And finally, my uh, conclusion, the ideas expressed, uh, expressed above have shed light on the human rights issues faced by people in many parts around the world. A person should be entitled. Again, the word entitled means have the right to something entitled to his or her opinion and have the right to a free education and a life of dignity in his or her country. Now, governments and NGOs should put more effort into ensuring the implementation of those basic rights. Okay, so this is it for uh, our two essays. Please make sure you go through them thoroughly. They will be included in your quiz. I will ask you some details from those on the quiz and Good luck. See you soon.